This is a final video on installing the AP Monitor server. And parts one and two, uh, part one was Apache, and then part two is PHP, and there's some video links there. I'll include those as uh, cards in this video as well. This is the third part where we install the AP Monitor online files. And so what we're going to do is first of all go to the um, apmonitor.com website. Okay, just visit that. And then go to the documentation on the right. And then we'll go to the um, uh, down here under download. Um, we'll go under the APM server. And this gives us the step by step instructions in with the Apache web server, with PHP installation, and then uh, finally this AP monitor installation. So for this, um, go ahead and just download the files uh, by selecting this link and click save. And then it's going to uh, then you can open the folder. Um, what I'll do is go ahead and just extract all right there. Just right click it, extract all from the zip file. And these are going to be the files that are going to be needed to run uh, the AP Monitor server. So I have a README file. And I'll open that up with Notepad. Okay, so uh, just a little bit of description about AP Monitor. You can use this server to run um, optimization without an internet connection. So here are the instructions. Uh, these were parts one and two of those videos. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy these files, and then we'll do some tests. And I'll do a test in uh, MATLAB and Python. And then we'll just see if we got uh, these results right here. We'll run a simple optimization problem and uh, <coughs> just confirm that we get these results. OK, so what I'm going to do is um, just come to uh, the online directory and I'll copy this and then I'm going to put this in my Apache web root folder okay online and if I go back um, you know, I can also also include an IP dot uh, PHP in there as well and that'll be just be used to test uh, the server and um, okay, so I'm going to go back here, uh, C drive, um, and then go back to Apache 2.4, and back to my uh, HT docs. This is the root folder for the web server. And uh, first of all, I have this um, IP.php. And if it isn't in the install uh, folder, go ahead and just type this in, create a new file. Um, this is a PHP script that just returns the IP address of the client. So to test this, uh, come into a new web browser and um, just go ahead and type 127.0.0.1. That's going to be your local host and do ip.php. And this gives us our IP address. And similarly, I can do um, localhost instead. Okay, and that one just came up with um, uh, blanks there with a one. Okay, so but if you do the um, one twenty seven zero dot zero dot one, and then it shows that IP address. Now the AP Monitor server um, it also has that same script, and this tests your external IP address. Okay, so uh, now I've got, um, this is working, so it shows that Apache and PHP are both working. And I've also copied over this um, online folder. Now inside here is the AP Monitor executable. That's the one that actually solves the optimization problems. And then here are a number of PHP scripts that just manage the files and um, display the results. So once this is installed, um, we can come back to our installation uh, folder or our uh, download uh, files that we had and um, I'm going to go ahead and just do the test Python first of all. So I'm going to open this up. This works in Python 2.7 or um, you know Python 3+. plus. Um, so I have first of all um, just uh, you know it tries to import AP Monitor if it can't, if you don't have that already installed with pip, then it imports pip and does the installation. These are just some local, just a local script file, and then imports AP Monitor. 
Okay, the server that I'm going to be using is my local host. So this is 127.0.0.1. If you put it on a different server though, then you just have to point to it with the internal internet IP address or external uh, IP address there. Um, and then I just give it an application name. I cleared any application by that name. And then I'm going to go ahead and load. Um, I'm going to go ahead and load my uh, my optimization problem and then I'll solve it and then print the output uh, get the solution and then display the solution here in my script so just to look at this here's my optimization problem just four variables that be between one and five and I have an inequality constraint inequality constraint and an objective function so I'm going to load this to the server and then um, have Python solve it with the AP monitor uh, modeling language. Okay, so let's see, I already have that open. Let me go ahead and just run it. And let's see if this um, is going to complete. Okay, so it didn't have AP Monitor installed. It's going to go ahead and uh, pip install that. Um, hmm. Okay, it looks like um, I'm going to need to go and get it manually. Okay, so let me go ahead and just do that. I'll show. It's good that I, we saw this error. Pip doesn't work for whatever reason. Then you can just come here to uh, get APM Python, and then you can get it uh, with GitHub. Okay. Um, okay. So I'll just go to GitHub, APM Python, and the script that I need is just this APM.py file right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just go raw on this, and I can just copy it. Okay, and I'll do a new text document, and I'll just call this apm.py. Okay, I'll just paste that in there. And now back in my script, um, what I'll do is I'll just... Um, instead of from AP monitor doing this um, I'll just do from APM import all okay so I'll go ahead and import just this um, helper script right here that just manages the client side okay I'll go ahead and run that and then I get um, these results so successful solution it was able to run uh, this script so let's go test the MATLAB version as well uh, there's Julia uh, coming to MATLAB and then open that up with uh, MATLAB now this is included in the download with all the other files uh, for the web server and um, so it'll open up MATLAB and then I'll run it I should get the same results that I had in Python and Julia likewise will have the same results as well now for this one I'm going to use the same uh, optimization file here how I declare my um, declare my model and so MATLAB is just starting up and then when it finishes I'll go ahead and run it um, okay so this is uh, MATLAB 2016a and it's very similar um, I have add path so I just added a path to this um, here I'll, I'll go ahead and show that um, these are just some helper MATLAB scripts that manage the client okay so I'll add a path there and then I'll set my server now this is our local host server um, and then I'll have my test MATLAB um, clear all um, I'll load my model file I'll solve it and I'll display my output retrieve the solution and then just display the results so if I run it then I get the same answer that I had before it also downloads a CSV file of the solution to my local directory now if I want to change this to the public server then I just do um, byu.apmonitor.com um, and then I should be able to get the same results but now it's just going to run it on a distant server versus my my local server okay so um, let me go ahead and just close that out and let's go ahead and summarize now um, so just uh, in summary, this is this uh, third step for the installation. You just grab these files uh, right here, 
and once you get those um, and put them in your downloads folder you extract them you just copy this folder over to wherever your web root folder is and then you can use these uh, scripts right here to go ahead and test your installation if for whatever reason in Python if it didn't work you can always go to github and download the client for the uh, AP monitor so this is the this is the client that um, you know sends the model file to the server but in this case the server is installed on this same computer okay so that's it um, go ahead and visit uh, this address uh, for the complete steps